this is a video on this is a video on scratch 0.2 or scratch 13th october 2004 edition let's just open it this is the beta version of scratch with so without further ado let's just open it so once i opened it you can see that the ui is quite similar to the real version and let's just create a sprite using this thing and of course you can do it by right clicking here and let's just check it out from top to bottom as the usual style and here you can see the file menus there which has the new open and save as you can of course save as like that whatever file name you want you can see it has saved and it's still in dot scratch at extension we just close one of it because we double clicked it and Still, it's not able to close of course I know but anyway I just left it like that and we can see that it has more things like cleaning up clones I think you have not expected clones to be here but of course it has clone blocks and even this import this import is specialized for uh, importing sprites and costumes you can see the costumes are there including sounds and movies which include videos and gif files I think so movies means videos and gif files and also there are like uh, let's just check it out and there's also sensor board which you can also delete of course it doesn't work properly but I don't know if you can connect it or not an open camera sensors not working feature and it's pretty much has failed hero luck over here you can also open MIDA you can choose the MIDA port you want and you can also do single stepping in whatever speed you want because there's no turbo mode here and also there are some things missing I want this to be back to scratch which would be interesting so that you can see how this code has been running but it's uh, however there in snap and just beside it there is a save button which you can automatically click for saving the project rather than saving as and there's even the move block I mean the category and further on the right there is like a whole toolbo toolbox over here like you can also use this normal cursor or this is used for running a particular sprite let's just test it out actually this is the flag button I mean this is the f when I receive when I when flag is clicked and it acts like when I receive a particular broadcast means when you click this button it will automatically broadcast the go and this is like when I receive block let's just try test it out like that you can see that it's working and magic one tool will only work for the particular sprite you click in not in everything like imagine if you duplicate actually this is the duplicate thing let's just test it out you can see there's a duplicate here and here you can just run the particular sprite you want by clicking it rather than using the flag which will move the both things and you can of course delete it using this thing or you can just there you, there's even right click in the canvas you can also right click the canvas while it's not running for deleting but I, mean, I recommend you to use these things you can also undo some stuffs and of course delete it like that and you can also zoom I means make zoom in and zoom out you can also create a new sprite using by clicking this create a new cat sprite and you can of course delete it by right clicking back and uh, you can also draw your own sprite like that whatever you want to so this is the default picture or something for scratch 0 0.1 anyway I draw and we can also delete it you can see we created it using this thing and further on the right you can see that there is a play button which is quite similar to the when the flag is clicked as now and even the stop button and you can see that we have looked at the menu items but now we can look in the block category but this will not be much brief as we know most of the feature you can see that this forward and turn right turn left are quite similar even set direction similar but say is quite different let's just simply just test it out for the sake you can see it's saying hello world but if you want to stop it to say then you have to say nothing and you can even move to one position move to means not gliding but go to move to and go to are same because that's the thing if you want to move to a thing in a second or you can say it as a glide 
can use this feature which is like collide only it's not much different but the name is different let's set it back to a particular position back and you can also make it to point to a particular position you can use a forever block here but you can see the snapping is quite hard yeah it's like that but it's much simpler than the previous version anyway and you can of course run it like it's always pointing towards the mouse pointer and other things I think we know like bouncing off the edge and y position and x position of course there are reporters now which is quite nice in, a, in their particular category and you can of course clone the sprite which is quite interesting but yeah you thought that there is no feature called clone before 2.0 but of course there is the feature in the 0 0.2 but eventually it was removed I think some version like 0 0.3 or like 0 0.4 I don't remember but we have to test it out later and you can also delete all the clone here or using the file menu here by cleaning up the clones and you can also clone delete means like one clone can be deleted or I don't understand completely this is a reporter block to test if it's a clone or not there's even a tiled clone I think it's making tiles of the blocks like it's like a tiled actually here, now it's just buggy but before it worked for some reason it's just broken in my computer of course you can test it out in your own computer and see if it's working or not or well, I think you have to move it to 0 0 on something and also make it to point to the correct direction that's the problem I think so okay now we can do tile clone you can see the tile clone is working now but the, if it's in the wrong direction like other than 0 0 direction should be 0 then only it'll, then only it will work otherwise it will not work that's one problem but it's fine and that's all about it you can also see that uh, we have a control category and we can see that if else is missing but only c shape blocks are there still which includes repeat 10 times forever and if there's no repeat until block which is quite sh a shame but fine and you can also wait for one second which is there and even you can just use the when the key is pressed and when the go is shouted or you can say when, when I receive something you can see the shouting is over here you can also make it to manually shout manually shout using this thing or you can make other simple loops like putting a particular block over here and without even using the forever or anything you can just make a forever loop but it's not working in this case because I think this, is not, should, this should not be done like this it should be done in a better way you can also make other broadcasts like broadcast like that and when the go means the normal broadcast thing and I just shout something like broadcast you can see shout we can shout broadcast anything below this line like anything above this line are like default things like especially like clicking this thing and stopping this thing maybe and you can see it's working which is quite amazing and even there are other things like this timer reset and wait until it's there you can stop all and done means stop this script this means stop the script and output I don't understand it yet and you can also change the size which is still there but the stretch setting stretch is quite amazing feature which is unfortunately removed let's just delete the clone because it's should not be there and let's just change it to the move to the zero zero and let's just stretch it like 200 percentage you can see we can stretch it it's quite amazing or maybe 300 it's quite cool feature if it was there it would be very nice but I don't know why it was removed at all maybe it's buggy that's the problem when it's changing the direction or something but it still worked when I change the direction as well but it could be like horizontal and vertical stretch but they did not add it like that and here's a look like a thing which means switch to a costume you can choose the costume you want let me just make another costume I really don't know what to make maybe a cat is good oh sorry I'm not very good at drawing it's quite slippery for me but I will just try 
to not make you annoyed okay that's a, that looks quite like a cat actually maybe a little bit three things like that so it doesn't look much like cat but anyway fine but it's quite big you can also choose the costume you want like costume 2 let me just double click it okay you can also double click to change it to the default costume and you can also show and hide the sprite and you can also set the visibility which means ghost effect like the 50 f 50 percentage you can see it's working this is just ghost effects and you can change it as well I think before there was not much drop down menus except for some things like this this should uh, get a drop down menu eventually but let's uh, just wait for it and there's even a filter reset which means clear all graphics effect and there's even a change world which is not a working feature these things are not working whatever is highlighted using a red thing and you can see this this thing is again working you can set to the costume to the number you wanted to like I mean when you click this double click it because I'm not using the go block maybe I have to use it okay let me just use it when the flag is clicked or like when go shouted if you click this play button you can switch to the number you want costume number and of course there's one more thing called change the costume which is quite similar but it will add like one number for it's like next costume change to next costume and you can also go the seven reporter block for that and you can also go to the front or back layer which is there and there's a normal operators which include the addition subtraction mul multiplication and division and the reminder over here and of course there's pink pick random and also there's comparison operator which means greater than equal to lesser than and even this and or not operators which are maybe logical op operators i don't know really okay they are reporter blocks of course all of these are reporters even though some things report only true and false it's just all all these things are reporters there are no predicate block before i think so that's the problem but anyway let's just continue predicate means like hexagon shape blocks hexagon shape blocks or at least they're different shape blocks and you can also start you can play a particular music or sound Let me just make a simple music over here by recording my voice. This is a sample sound. You can see I just recorded a noise, a, wo a sound. Let me just set it to the recording. Let's just play it. You can see that my computer has played this sound. And I don't know if you have heard it or not. And of course there are many more effects which I have not tried, prop tried properly. But of course you can try it yourself. And most probably they're not gonna work very well. Let me try something like. Let me just change it to the left side. I don't know if it really moved or not, but fine. Fine for a normal testing. I think we don't need to test it much because we don't know about music and also it's not drumming well maybe due to not enough code maybe they'll add it in the future I'm very sorry if there's any inaccuracy anywhere because there's not much research on these things and sorry for the background noise but anyway fine I'm continuing even there's a sensor one value we can also test for sensors these are all reporter blocks for sensing you can also detect the sensor board values as well using these two blocks and you can also make your own block which is still there which was even there in 2.0 but yeah i think so they were scrapped in this version only after this version is never available until 2.0 and 3.0 there let's just check it out even you can even make a parameter it's quite amazing so let's just check it out okay, and let's re rename it like move steps so that we can make it more like no normal scratch of course you cannot type anything after the x over here or the parameter that's an issue of course but that's how a real programming language is but yeah you can see like it is gonna work even if you increase the value like 50 
it's gonna work just fine doesn't matter because it's attribute you can also make one more at, at parameter like that just put it like that it will just try to do something like that okay it's fine and we can create uh, even our own variables like let me just name it my var for a simple purpose actually of course i edit even i even edit the scratch wiki and update this pages of course it's quite important and no people are realizing it so i'm just making these videos and you can also set my variable to whatever value you want there's even a, i don't know if you, how to, ah, you can see that there's a stage reporter or i don't know what that stage monitor sorry, stage monitor you can make you can also make it a slider or like hide the slider and you can also set it to a particular value you want or you can make it a slider for changing the number from 0 to 100 you cannot edit the value and uh, here you can see that we can edit the value i thought you cannot edit the value if it comes from 10 to this thing you can edit it to this to whatever you want like minus 100 that's how it works and yeah you can also change the variable or like set things to normal and that's about the block palette and there's even movies but i'm not going to test it out because last time when i tested out it of course failed that's why i didn't test much about it it's most probably for importing gif files and there's even a less probably chance for it to be a, like video files because of a morph known as scratch movie morph which i just learned recently and i know it before